Okay, guys, let's talk about empathy. Um, empathy is the ability to recognize the feelings, the emotions, the situation of the customer and to put ourselves in the customer's place. A lot of people like to use the old cliche, uh, put yourself in, in the customer's shoes, okay? What it means literally is to just try to imagine. To me, empathy in a call center, for a call center, not psychology empathy, is to put yourself in the place of the customer to, and how do you put yourself in the place of the customer? Well, you need to imagine. So you need to imagine what it would be like uh, to place an order and not receive it. I'm pretty sure everybody has gone through delays or unexpected situations when you purchase something. So imagining is a, is a key ingredient. I always try to imagine what it would be like uh, to not have something working properly. Let's say uh, going through an experience, a difficult experience with a representative over the phone or having to wait excessively on the line or an unexpected charge like I just recently had um, like two months ago. I was like, what? What is this? So we tried to imagine what it would be like for, for us if we had to be in that situation. So that's one thing. Imagination is very important. Um, a little story I'd like to share with you. Many years ago when I started working in the BPO industry, that was way back in 2011, I, I had no idea of how to use these skills for a call center. Actually, there was no, there was no method available um, during that time. This is where call centers were exploding here in Guatemala City. So I decided to try it out after many years of not wanting to try it out. So I decided to try it out. Um, so I remember that, that the first time I had to take a call, uh, I was told I had to empathize with the customer by the QA and the trainers, but nobody really taught me how to do it. Nobody uh, gave me real examples. They just said, you have to empathize with the customer and like put yourself in the customer's shoes. That's what they all said. So I remember the first call that I received, I thought it was a pretty good call. It was a 20 minute call for something that should have been done in five minutes. But anyhow, I took a couple of calls in the, during the first week. Then I received my first uh, feedback session with the QA. Um, she totally obliterated me with zeros in empathy and in acknowledgement. And I said to her, but we had a good time. I mean, did I mistreat the customer? Did I do something not incorrectly? Did I not follow the procedures? And she said, no, you actually did pretty good in all of that, right? It was a very friendly conversation, but you did not empathize and acknowledge with the customer. Um, but I said, I was sorry. Yeah, that's part of it, but that's not entirely it. So I was a bit frustrated after that first coaching session. And I talked to the trainer and the manager and I said, look, guys, can you guys give me some examples? And what they did is they gave me a bunch of scripts. They just gave me, I want you to say this. I'm like, okay, I'll say it. So that helped a little bit. That helped a little bit, but I really wasn't grasping the idea of what it was to uh, empathize or what was the difference between the sympathy statement and an empathy statement? Do you know the difference? So... I was a bit uh, puzzled by it. And um, a, a couple of months later, we had a new QA person, a quality person come in. And he literally came to the group and he said, your bonuses are in my hands. That's what he said. Uh, if you don't acknowledge the customer, if you don't empathize, you can forget about your bonuses. Because that's true. There's actually a, a, a score that they keep, the quality people, in which you need to empathize <laughs> and acknowledge the customer. And if you don't, and if you don't do that in a call, in each and every call, you don't get your bonus. Simple as that. So um, I interrupted him and I said, sir, excuse me, could you give me an example of, uh, of what is sympathy and what is empathy to use with a customer? The guy couldn't do it. And this, is a, and this was a QA, somebody that was, uh, that was paid, that was trained to monitor the quality of our calls. He couldn't do it. He wasn't able. He just said, look, you have to do it. I don't care how you do it. Find out how you do it, right? That was it. That was a hardcore truth. Uh, after that coaching session, terrible coaching session, I remember, I decided to do some research. I, as a teacher, I decided to find out how it's done. So after, you know, looking it up on reading definitions uh, of what empathy is, uh, psychological definitions and whatnot, and other types of definitions of what it was, I kind of pictured the idea. 
um, that for a call center, empathy has to be about understanding, acknowledging, and that's a key word to acknowledge. Number one, opening. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Carlos. How may I help you today? Two, empathy. Hi, Mr. Customer. I can relate to what you're saying about your package, and I'm very sorry to hear you haven't received it yet. Assurance. Please understand that you're my priority at this moment, and you're talking to a tracking expert here at Amazon. I can definitely verify on my end the status of your verification. Can I please have your order number, please? Thank you. Would you please go next step? Okay. Hold procedure. Mr. Customer, I need to work on my system for a couple of moments. Can I place you on hold for two minutes while I work on the system? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Customer, as my system information shows, the package was delivered on 12 first. Okay, Mr. Customer, just to be on the same page, um, you will receive your package tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. through UPS. Once again, my name is Rocky Balboa. Thank you very much uh, for choosing Amazon. Have a wonderful day, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Blessings to everybody at the family. See ya, bye-bye. Now let's go to the ending. We're gonna finish the call, finally. Okay, so this is how we do it. This is a cool phrase. Once again, my name is, and then you say your, your, your agent name, Leo. Once again, my name is Leo. Here. That's the keyword. I understood that we need to acknowledge the other person on the other side of the phone. A lot of people say, put yourself in the customer shoes, and that's good. But how do you do it? How do you communicate that to the other person? And what I figured out that empathy comes down to a couple of key verbs. So I call them empathy verbs, right? Empathy verbs. So after doing my research and all that, I found out there were a couple of verbs that conveyed empathy. And the first one that came up was the verb understand, right? Um, another verb that came up was recognize. Another verb was the verb realize and um, other verbs like, like sensory verbs, like I see, I hear, you know, other verbs like relate. So all of these, uh, all of these uh, statements, I, I just, I actually put a video. I'm going to share with you a video with 100 empathy statements. If you want to check it out, very successful on YouTube. It's been getting thousands and thousands of hits. Um, but anyway. After doing all of that and researching a lot of empathy statements and, and how it's done, I realized that it came down to a couple of verbs, key verbs. And these verbs, I'm going to share them with you today. Like I said, it's understand, recognize, realize, see, hear, and relate. So when, 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 we, uh, when, when you want to empathize with somebody, people kind of like expect to hear these verbs. Um, so you would say things like, Mr. Customer, you know, I understand you're angry, you know. I, I can relate to the situation, you know. Uh, Mr. Customer, I, I, I can see that this situation has made you angry. Or, Mr. Customer, I realize it's not what you expected. Or, Mr. Customer, I recognize that we made a mistake here uh, with the shipping. Or, Mr. Customer, I totally understand that you're frustrated over this, and I would feel the same, you know. I exactly feel the same about this. So... These key verbs, what they're going to do is they're going to convey, they're going to convey, right? They're going to tell the other person, look, I understand you. I, I'm, I, I, I get you. I know where you're coming from, you know? So when people feel understood, and that's what I found out about it. A lot of times people think that empathy are these magic scripts that are going to calm down the customer. And one thing that uh, empathy is not is not about calming down people. A lot of people think I'm going to calm down the customer. Yeah, good luck with that. You can never say to a customer, sir, calm down. If you say that to another human being, they're going to just get angrier and it's going to escalate, right? So, you know, this is a misconception. Empathy is not about calming down people. And it's not about controlling people either. People say, oh, I'm going to say uh, this and I'm going to control the call. Other people think that it's a series of magic words or a magic script or some kind of... Uh, phrase that's going to solve everything and it's not it's none of that none of these th things it's just simply making the other person feel understood that's what i found out right so if you make the other person feel understood the other person is going to start relating to you and start is going to start you're going to start you know having a conversation and moving on to the next step which is resolution right but if the person does not feel understood or feels that you're not 
recognizing or understanding what the problem is or the degree of the problem, then this person is not going to move from his uh, way of thinking. You know, it's going to be defensive. So when you actually tell another person, look, hey, listen, I, I, I understand you're angry. You know, I understand this caused you to be upset. I realize it's not what you expected. You know, like right now, I had a connectivity issue a couple of minutes. And I say to you guys, look, I'm, you know, I understand you guys were waiting for me. I realize it's not convenient to wait 10 minutes for the coach, you know, but please accept my sincere apology. Things are not perfect with technology sometimes. And, you know, I realize that you're here because you want to learn. So thank you for that. That's empathy. That's empathy. You understand? I just I just didn't say, hey guys, look, I'm sorry the the I had a computer glitch. I mean, that's just sympathy, but that's not empathy. You understand? Like I said, empathy is is uh, making the other person feel understood. You know, hey guys, look, I understand that waiting online 10, 15 minutes for the coach is is a waste of time. I realize that. And I do apologize for that. There's some things that are out of my control. You understand? And that's empathy. And that's what we need to achieve uh, with customers. Okay, so let's move on. Now, um, yeah, that's what empathy is. So we're going to keep these verbs present when you when you want to empathize with a customer. So um, I just want to make a, 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 a quick difference between the sympathy statement and an empathy statement. A sympathy statement is a good starter. It's usually you start with, I'm sorry. That's sympathy. Uh, when you say to somebody, hey, look, I'm sorry, I messed up, you know, or I'm sorry, sir, we made a mistake, you know, it's the first step. It's a sympathetic, it's a sympathetic step to, let's say, acknowledging um, a, a problem or something, you know, it's the first step, recognizing. It. It's just, hey, look, I'm sorry, uh, sir, we messed up, or I'm sorry you had to wait that long. It's the first step. It's just sympathy, but that's not empathy. After that, we're going to use an empathy. We're going to follow up with an empathic verb. So. You, you, you could start with a with a sympathy verb. Let's say somebody uh, has had a delay with the package. Mr. Customer, I'm sorry to hear the, the package has not yet arrived. And then we move on uh, to an empathy statement with any of the empathy verbs. So we move on. Uh, Mr. Mr. Customer, I'm sorry to hear the package has not yet arrived. And uh, look, I, I understand nobody likes to wait more than they should. That's empathy. Or, Mr. Customer, look, I'm sorry to hear the package has not yet arrived. Look, I, I realize it's not what you expected, and our intention is to always provide you orders on time. Or, Mr. Customer, I'm sorry to hear the package has not yet arrived. And, you know, I can relate to uh, long periods of wait. Nobody likes to wait that long for a package, you know, for an order. I would want my package the next day, you know, my order. So, <clears throat> with the empathy verb, I'm actually... Uh, making the other person feel like, hey, I understand. I understand what you're going through, right? So uh, again, let's recap. So we're going to start with a very simple sympathy statement, like Mr. Customer, I'm sorry to hear X, Y, and Z. So I put the X, Y, and Z there so you guys can fill that up uh, specifically for the situation here. You, you address the situation that the customer is talking about or the concern that the, cu the customer is telling you. And then you follow up with any empathy verbs, like I understand, recognize, realize, see, hear, relate, right? And you, you're going to connect it here about X, Y, and Z. So I understand your concern about the, <clears throat> the delivery time. I understand you're concerned about your, your payment. I understand your concern about the, the internet, right? So you just put it in there. Another, okay, so that's that's the key. That's If you do this, you'll be able to empathize. You'll get good scores, good metrics. Your customers will feel empathized that you've uh, understood what's going on, okay? Um, now, moving on, also, you can assist yourself with number one, opening. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Carlos. How may I help you today? Two, empathy. Hi, Mr. Customer. I can relate to what you're saying about your package, and I'm very sorry to hear you haven't received it yet. Assurance, please understand that you're my priority at this moment, and you're talking to a tracking expert here at Amazon. I can definitely verify on my end the status of your verification. Can I please have your order number, please? Thank you. Would you please go next step? Okay, 
Hold procedure, Mr. Customer, I need to work on my system for a couple of moments. Can I place you on hold for two minutes while I work on the system? Yes, thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Customer, as my system information shows, the package was delivered on 12 first. Okay, Mr. Customer, just to be on the same page, um, you will receive your package tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. through UPS. Once Perfect. again, my name is Rocky Balboa. Thank you very much uh, for choosing Amazon. Have a wonderful day, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Blessings to everybody at the family. See ya, bye-bye. Now let's go to the ending. We're gonna finish the call, finally. Okay, so this is how we do it. This is a cool phrase. Once again, my name is, and then you say your, your, your agent name, Leo. Once again, my name is Leo. Scripts. Scripts are always good when you're starting out. They're, they're pretty good when you're starting out. Here's a script. Um, I can see the situation has caused you to become upset. Or if I were in your place, I'd feel exactly the same. So scripts are good to get started. They can help you. But you got to be careful with scripts because if you don't place them correctly or with a correct tone of voice, then customers will go, this guy's just reading a script, you know? Customers will detect that immediately. So if you're going to use a script, and I got I got 100 empathy statements, which, which I'm going to share with you right now. And you can just like, oh, I like this one. You can write it down, make a list, right? Uh, you don't need to memorize 100 empathy scripts, just like five, five or 10 that you feel like, oh, this could work for me. I think I can use this. You know, a script that adapts to your personality. You know what I'm saying? So scripts are very useful in combination with uh with uh, with these uh, with this formula, I call it like a formula. You know, you just fill in the blanks uh, with what you need. So let's put it all together. Um, let's say somebody is uh, having problem with a package uh, with delivery time. Uh, Mr. Customer, uh, I'm sorry to hear the package has not yet arrived. Um, I do understand your concern about the delivery of this package, and uh, you know I can see the situation has made you to become uh, worried, but. Rest assured, I'm here to help you. I'm a tracking expert here at Amazon. I could definitely verify the status of the package and work out something for you. Now, may we please have your order number so we can get to work on this and find a solution to this problem immediately, sir. Okay, great. So what's the next step? <laughs> it's the uh, assurance step. Here I put it on, on four, but it doesn't really matter if it's before acknowledgement. So boom. Empathy and assurance, they go together like coffee and water, I, I told somebody yesterday. So after that, you want to men, you want to, you want to go to assure the customer, right? We'll talk about that in tomorrow's class. Opening. Thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. This is Carlos. How may I help you today? To Empathy. Hi, Mr. Customer. I can relate to what you're saying about your package, and I'm very sorry to hear you haven't received it yet. Assurance. Please understand that you're my priority at this moment, and you're talking to a tracking expert here at Amazon. I can definitely verify on my end the status of your verification. Can I please have your order number, please? Thank you. Would you please go next step? Okay, hold procedure. Mr. Customer, I need to work on my system for a couple of moments. Can I place you on hold for two minutes while I work on the system? Yes, thank you so much, sir. Okay, Mr. Customer, as my system information shows, the package was delivered on 12 first. Okay, Mr. Customer, just to be on the same page, um, you will receive your package tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. through UPS. Once Perfect. again, my name is Rocky Balboa. Thank you very much uh, for choosing Amazon. Have a wonderful day, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Blessing to everybody at the family. See ya, bye-bye. Now let's go to the ending. We're gonna finish the call, finally. Okay, so this is how we do it. This is a cool phrase. Once again, my name is, and then you say your, your, your agent name, Leo. Once again, my name is Leo.